<laughs> Good morning, everybody. I was doing a video of the horse, but now Oreo's getting out. <laughs> Happy Tuesday morning, 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a great day for me. It's the day I was ordained in 2007, 07, 07, 07. I was watching the horses graze this morning. I've already had some conversations this morning, and someone called me a high-ranking demon. That was a personal first. Every day, all day long, we take in information. And the Bible talks about what goes in. It's not what goes into the body that comes out, but what, or not what goes into the body that defiles the man, but what comes out, you know. You see, this is Thor, and he's being very careful about where he puts his mouth <laughs> right now. Because he's got options, right? Okay. Actually, he's just pushing the other stuff aside. I guess I haven't gotten this close. Cool. That's what we got to do. We got to make sure what we're ingesting in these days and this time. There's fake news on both sides everywhere. Had a great conversation with one of the besties this morning. And, you know, she said um, something she had heard. I'm no longer looking for the signs of the times i'm listening for the sound of the trumpets or something to that effect and y'all that's the truth i do believe that the return of christ is near there's i think there's hard days harder days ahead and that the only way to navigate this life is to be very careful what we're taking in be care very careful who and what we're feasting on the bible says to taste and see that the lord is good we cannot look at this political circus in front of us or even this worldwide circus in front of us and have any kind of peace. We've got to keep our eyes on the skies, keep our eyes on Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. The Bible says that in this world we will have trouble, but to rejoice because he's overcome the world. For just a few moments to remind us of what we feast on. So we can be big and strong, purpose and determination. This is how we should be in these days when we understand that God is truly in charge, guys. Carefree, God has already written this story. We're just to walk in it in faith and goodness. Oreo is not worried about if she's going to be watered or fed. She just knows she's going to be. She's just having a good time. These guys, they're not worried about COVID. They're not worried about worldwide unrest. And we can't be either if we're believers in Jesus Christ. So again, I encourage you today to taste and see that the Lord is good. Just a few minutes before since. With Thor.